What's going on, everybody? How's everybody doing today? Listen, it's your man, Harry O over the top here with another video. Guys, I want you to first, before we get started, hit the like button. Share the video with somebody you know needs to hear this. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. So what I want to do with you guys today, you know, it's time for us to make a shift and go into somewhat of a different direction. You know, we're at a place now where it's start it's time to start facing some of the mad some of the things that we've actually taken ourselves through in this. <clears throat> and today I want to talk about how well, I'll talk, I want to talk about the role we played in this situation with the narcissist. And the first thing that I want to talk about is how, or the reason, the reason that the narcissist picked you, the reason that they were able to get into your life in the first place, they were able to get into your life because they came in your life at a time when you were broken. They came into your life at a time when you were not your best self. They came in your life at a time where you obviously were between relationships and your confidence wasn't at its best or at its height. And I'm saying all of these things, guys, because we do play an intricate part in that situation. And there's a reason. There's an absolute reason that that person is in your life. We all know that it's not a good reason. We know that. The reason that a narcissist is in your life, the reason a narcissist has come into your life, Guys, there had to be a segue for them. They had to see something in you. What were they looking for? What do they look for? How do they keep getting to me? They keep getting to you because we're not, we're not practicing basic principles. Basic principles meaning when you get a gut feeling about something, you're not following your gut feeling. A narcissist will come in your life and they will ask you questions. They'll say things to you that may make you a little uncomfortable, but you will try to go along to get along. I want to be cool. I want. I don't want to seem too uptight. Or And the question that you overlooked right there. They, they put you in a place where you question your own morality. And in the in an effort to keep this situation going, okay, because I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be that person that's, you know, doing too much. I don't want to be that person that is too hard to get you know, and guys, when you do that, when you become that person, you're exactly what the narc wanted. You're exactly what they're looking for. They're looking for somebody with no boundaries. And when you don't show that you have boundaries, you are exactly what they've been looking for. You don't have boundaries. Oh, I just said something to you that you should have had a problem with. That's how the narcissist is looking at it. They're like, oh, yeah, 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 you're going along with it. Got you. I got you. I got you. Guys, you played an intricate role in it. When narc shows you who they are, what did you do? What did you say? How did you react? Did you keep going with it? 
did you say, no, 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 I'm not dealing with that. I'm not dealing with you. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. And a lot of times, you know what? Let, let's just go all the way in with this. A lot of times, most of the time, you're downgrading. You do the, the same thing we look at with the narcissist when they go on to the new supply. You did the same thing with the narcissist when they came to you. You downgraded. You downgraded. You did the exact same thing that they did to you. You downgraded. They came to you. They came in your life. And you, after meeting them and talking to them a little bit, Guys, whether it took you a week or two weeks, you knew very early on this person really is not checking off the boxes when it comes to what you really want in your life. You knew that early on. Because it's very rare that a narcissist checks all the right boxes at the beginning. They put on a front. But guys, they still... There are still small things. They're not big things. Nobody's going to put on, very rarely will you find somebody that shows you major red flags day one. If that person is really interested in you. If they're really interested in you, they're really trying to trick you, fool you into a situation. And most of the time, guys, we go for it. I sit back, little, I sit back and talk to people daily. And guys, the some of the things that I find so consistent with us is we're always willing to give anybody a chance. They have done nothing to earn a chance with you. And then when they start showing you they really need help. We we stay we stick right there we stick right there you know we, I'm gonna help you out and you know I'm gonna do this and we're looking for that builder Bob or builder Barbara we're looking for somebody we can put together help help them get themselves together and hey we get to enjoy the benefits right wrong because as you can see as soon as you help them get it together they're off to the next person. Because that's what narcs do. They're showing you, hmm, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. My intuition is telling me, leave the situation alone. Maybe I need to leave it alone. Yeah, guys. Yeah, we have definitely, we have to, just admit and stand up to our part in it because that's what's truly going to set you free from dealing with the situation. We played a part in it. When you have no boundaries, you're the narc's favorite, favorite choice. Guys, that's my video. I want y'all to like, share, subscribe. Listen, I'm going to put my uh, link to my Facebook group in the description of this video as well as my link to my calendar. All right. See you on the next video.